we have a column with product names. And we need a running count. 1, 2, 3. And we need to do it with Power Query. Now, last video, Excel Magic Trick 1588, we used table.rows count inside of table.addcolumns and built two custom functions. Well, this formula is very calculation intensive as the formula copies down the column. Well, luckily, Bill Sizzes and Vita commented at YouTube about how to do this with grouping and an index column. With a single cell in our table selected, we come up to Data, Get and Transform from Table. This brings our table into the Power Query window. I want to rename this something like Transaction Product Running Count. Step one, we come over to Product, right click, down to Group By. Our goal is to group all of the products, quad, quad, together, and then all the Carlotas together. So we select Product. The new column name, something like Table with Index. I don't really care what this operation is for the time being. Click OK. Up in the formula bar, I'm going to expand. Table.group is the function. That's the previous step. The column that determined the unique list of items that we group by is product in double curly brackets. That's a list within a list. That's our single calculation. Now everything after each, I'm going to highlight and use the delete key. The each keyword allows us to make a calculation for each row. For each row, we're going to use table.add index column, open parentheses. Now it requires a table. And when we use the each shorthand for a custom function, the way we access all of the records for a particular condition is with underscore. That is our table, comma. The new column name, in double quotes, running count, comma. The initial value, we're going to start at 1, comma. And we're going to increment by 1. This will give us 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on for each group set of records. Now we have list within a list syntax. So we type curly bracket, curly bracket, and then close parentheses to close off table.group. When I hit Enter, we get just what we want. There's our running count for the quad, running count for Carlota. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do this. We'll use the user interface, and then we'll do a quick step using just the f of x. Now with this running count, we can expand. Click the Expand button. Uncheck. We want running count and transaction number. Click OK. Now I want to reorder the column, so I'm going to drag transaction number to the left of product. Now all the quads are together, but I really want it sorted by transaction number. So I select the dropdown, A to Z. Now I can add some data types, something like whole number, whole number. And there we have the original order and our running count. Now there's a faster way we can do this. If we come to Expand Table with Index, right click, Delete to End. Delete. Notice we have a column of tables. And what we really want to do is combine them, append them one on top of the other. Well, notice this is the name of the step. And if I want to extract a single column, I can use a field access operator. So I come up to f of x and click. That's the full table from the previous step repeated. But if I want just this column, I use my field access operator, square brackets, and then the name of the column table with index, and Enter. So in one step, I have extracted just the tables. Now I can use table.combine, open parentheses, close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, I've taken that column of tables and combined them. The last step we need to do is I don't want the quads all together. I want sorted by transaction number. So click the drop down, select A to Z. And there's our running count without having to use a calculation intensive formula for each row. Now I can close and load, close and load to existing sheet, something like J4, click OK. Man, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Bill Sizzes and Vita. We'll see you next trick.